Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to reveal some little known money saving tips that can drastically cut your monthly expenses. Now, number one is going to change your life. I can almost guarantee it. So you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so I first want to say that there are some people stuck in this I need to save money, but I also only live once phase. And the question is, so what do you do? So my answer is you do both. So there should be three parts of your savings. One for your emergency. Next one is for your future. Number three is for fun right now, which I'm gonna get into how to actually structure that shortly. But the first savings tip that I have for you is going to sound a little crazy, but I want you to consider your environment. Now there is a saying, if you hang around five broke people, you're probably the sixth one. So if the people you are hanging around are all broke, you probably need to change your environment because these are the probably the people that are trying to get you to spend your money on things you don't need to be spending it on. Now, I don't hang around a lot of people, but I do hang out in entrepreneurial Facebook groups. And these people, they are doing way better than me. And that motivates me to be and do better. So think about who you're hanging around because that could play a big factor in how you're spending your money. Like, believe it or not, most wealthy people that I know are frugal. Even billionaire LeBron James, the insider came out with a report about how notorious he is for being cheap. Yes, he spends money on what he values, but anything else, no. Now here are some practical ways to actually save money right now. The first one is, I mean, we can all agree, paper towels is so wasteful. You can spend so much money on paper towels. They're so expensive and I used to use them all the time, but I want you guys to consider this these $8 washable bamboo cloths on a roll. You know, each towel can be used 85 times and there are 30 towels on a roll, which can get up to 3,000 uses. So you take one cloth off the roll at a time, you rinse it and hang it over to dry. Once it's no good anymore, you take another one off and then you start using it again. So that's just how these work and it's just a great way to save some money because paper towels, they cost a lot of money and I hate spending money on paper towels, but you need them if this is all you use. So this is a great alternative that I want to share with you guys. Another thing you should think about cutting is dryer sheets. You know, you don't want to use those either because they are not only bad for your dryer, but they actually can be bad for your clothes as well as affecting some different types of fabrics. So I recommend these wool dryer balls. They last for thousands of loads. It replaces dryer sheets and softens your laundry naturally and they smell so good. So I highly recommend these. I'm gonna put the link to these in the description in case you guys are considering these as an option because it's gonna save you some money and it's, it's better for your clothes, so why not? Now, and to all my ladies, you know, our nails, hair, eyebrows, they can cost so much. So I like for my nails to be done. Now, do you guys know that these are just some nail strips from Amazon that cost $6? Going to get my nails done costs so much money and then trying to go every two weeks to try and look all decent no, you don't have to do that. I mean, if, from what you can see here, I think they look pretty good. This is a great cost savings where you can still have your nails looking good at the price of $6. And I know I think it's a good alternative because I'm trying to you know, cut back on always get my nails done because it's just so expensive. So that's definitely a tip that you can do. If your eyebrows, I'm wanting to, I was getting my eyebrows threaded now I get them with a razor. If I can't get my girl to do it, I do it myself. And it's just another great way to save money because you know these are things that you really can do yourself if you're trying to cut back on expenses. Now when it comes to clothing, I recommend unsubscribing from any brand emails because those special offers aren't doing your wallet any favors. So just go ahead, scroll down, hit that unsubscribe button. And you know, don't sleep on TJ Maxx. If you want to wear brand designer clothes, you can go to TJ Maxx and get clothes at a fraction of the price. I still go and it's still, you know, you gotta look, but you can find something and if you do shop online always always if you can make sure you're using the Rakuten app and honey because I use these and I never know about the coupons you don't know what you don't know and these apps do it for you and it's free so I highly recommend using those apps if you do choose to shop online because you want to save some money that you may have not even knew you could save the next one is to renegotiate your contracts so some people know this but really a lot of people still don't do it so I wanted to just say this again if you have not called to lower your phone bill cable bill insurance within the last year you need to do it today you know there is no reason that you can't just go ahead and call and just say hi I want to call to see if there's any way that I can lower my phone bill or my cable bill what are your options and then let them talk let them tell you the rest there's no reason I mean I always say what is the worst that can happen they say no and you still have the same bill or they say yes and now you have a cheaper bill 
This is something that should be done today if you have not done this within the last year. Same thing if you have a credit card bill. Now I want to share this little hack to keep you disciplined because no, saving is not fun. You know, trying to be disciplined is not fun. So what I recommend doing is if you need some motivation or to be more disciplined, I highly recommend taking a drive around town to the nice houses and the big mansions just so you can get inspired. So you can say like, man, I can't wait to get there or you know, we gonna get there someday. Because my husband and I, we would do that all the time. We would just go and dream and be like, man, it would be so nice to live in that house, you know, stuff like that. And you know, the only way you can do it is if you work work hard, be disciplined, trust the process. And that's exactly what we did. So going to those houses just gives you this instant motivation, like I can get there. And that's what I wanna recommend for you guys to do. So if you ever feel a low and you just need some motivation, go for a ride on the nice houses and just get motivated that way. Or if it's cars, go to the car dealership, you know, whatever is your fancy. If you need to get motivated, do that. I highly recommend it. It's what I did and now we're here in our nice house, glory be to God, I don't know, he gets all the credit. But that is one thing that we did to help ourselves stay disciplined. So I, it's one of the little hacks I want to share with you guys. Okay, so the next one is one of our biggest expenses and it's food. So I wanna share with some tips and tricks that we're using to kind of tackle that. And I don't wanna assume everybody knows these things. So if you know this, great. If you have any other tips, let me know in the comment section below. So the first one is meal plan. The number one reason I eat out is because I don't plan ahead what I'm gonna eat for the week. So, and I get so hungry, I end up having to stop because I wanna eat, I need to eat. So planning really does save you a lot of money. I absolutely hate to plan my meals, but it is necessary if you do wanna save some money. You just gotta go ahead and be disciplined, like I was saying, and just go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna do this this week, go grocery shopping and stick to that. You have to be disciplined. And one hack I wanted to share is that keep a breakfast bar or a granola bar or whatever in your car because that way, if you're like hungry, you gotta eat something, you just need something, cause to prevent you from going to fast food, try the, the breakfast bar that you have right there and then eat that and hopefully it can hold you over until you can get home. So that's just a little hack that sometimes works for me, sometimes it doesn't, but it may work in time of need for you if you're trying to save some money. You can also do meatless Mondays, so you can go a day or additional days with, that, with the intention of not eating meat because meat is usually the most expensive thing that you have to purchase. So this can definitely save you money, especially during the week when you're trying to figure out what your meal plans are. And then you also wanna shop your pantry. So instead of following a recipe, try and use items that you already have in your pantry and get rid of that first before you spend any more money on food that you already have. You know, it is amazing how much food gets wasted in our pantries. And then online grocery shopping is a hack too because your grocery shopping will only for the things that you actually need. So the hopefully the impulse of purchases will not happen as often if you're doing it at home, in your kitchen, trying to figure out, okay, what do I need? All right, this, 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 and only purchasing the things that you need. You go pick it up and you go right back home. So you don't have any of those impulse purchases that you might have if you actually go to the store and say, oh, I need that when you really don't need it. You know what I mean? So that's something that you could also do if you're trying to cut back on food expenses. The next hack is something that a lot of us don't like to do, but it's eating right. You know, the most inexpensive medical bill is no medical bill at all. You know, eating right, exercising, taking care of your body is what we call preventative care. And it can save you a boatload of money. You know, I know things happen outside of your control. You may have to have medical expenses, but this video is all about the things that you can control. So if you, you and you can control, eating right and trying to take care of your body. So that is definitely something that you wanna make sure that you're taking advantage of while you can, so you won't be in the hospital with bills, unnecessary bills. So that's definitely another tip for you guys. Okay, now to the one that is the game changer. This one is a Chinese secret to saving money that has really blown me away. And it's called the zero base budgeting system, or that's what we call it here in America. And this is when your income minus your expenses equals zero. So expenses in this case also include your savings, paying off any debt, 401k, and things like that. Now YouTuber Humphrey Yang gave a great example of how this all works and I want to show his example here so you can understand what I'm talking about. So say for example, you make $4,000 a month. You have your rent, your groceries, your necessities, and all the things that you are also saving for like your emergency fund, your IRA, 
student loan payments, new car fund, and any other saving funds you might have. Now, by the time you are done with your budgeting, you are left with zero dollars. This is how you are able to have all your money accounted for. Now, by doing it this way, you have a greater accountability of where your money is going, control, and insight into your finances. This is how you're able to really take control of your finances and doing this manually, it is virtually impossible to keep up with this. That's why I love Wise5. So most people don't even know how much or where they should be putting their money. And that's what the app WiseFi does and that's why I love it. It helps you understand what choices you should make and see where your money is going. Now they are running a free 30 day don't waste your money challenge to help you reduce spending waste and channel your money towards the most effective path to financial independence that's completely customized for you. This is a complete no brainer if you're trying to cut your monthly expenses and work towards financial independence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link to this challenge in the description below. And I love challenges and I wanted to share this one because most people, they're gonna watch a video and say, oh, that was good. But when you have something you can actually take away and implement, that's when the real change starts to happen. So if you are still here watching this video, I want you to comment the word challenge accepted in the comments below. So I'll know who actually stuck around to the end of this video. I love to do those little things so I can see who's still here watching my videos. And if you're looking for actual ways to make money, I want you guys to watch my video that went crazy viral right here about the best top five work from home jobs that you can do today. So check that out because it's a reason it went viral because people don't talk about these, all right? And as always, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.